One of the biggest challenges a parent faces is choosing the right name for their beloved bundle of joy. While there's no right or wrong answer, there are some names in 2018 which are probably best to avoid. Even some traditional names that have been popular for decades are not necessarily safe choices anymore. Here's why. Alexa and Echo There's no doubt that Alexa is a beautiful name, but it's also one that might best be avoided considering the rise in popularity of Amazon Echo devices. Alexa, turn on the hall lights. Okay. Even if you don't have one of these personal assistants in your home, it's likely you have a friend or relative who does. And if you think Echo itself is a unique choice for a name, remember this. While the device responds to the name Alexa by default, it can be reset to respond to a few other wake words, including Echo, leading to possible confusion and embarrassment down the road. K. You might want to rethink K as well, and for similar reasons as Alexa and Echo, Google Home Assistants are one of the most popular personal assistants on the market right now. The device responds to OK Google, and the similarity of the name K to OK is bound to cause some confusion, especially if you already own and appreciate the device. But those aren't the only names spoiled by technology. Siri and Sirius If you're a huge fan of Apple, you might be tempted to name your baby Siri, a shortened form of the Scandinavian name Sigrid. The name itself is a lovely one, but you might want to rethink giving it to your baby if you have an iPhone. Giving your baby the same name as your intelligent personal assistant has the potential to lead to disaster. The name Sirius is another problematic option. It's just too close to Siri, for a start, but it also lends itself far too well to one particular pun. Why so serious? Harvey. The name Harvey was all over the news in 2017, but rarely for a good reason. First, there was the devastating hurricane that swept through Texas killing nearly 100 people and causing $180 billion in damage. This was shortly followed by the news that film producer Harvey Weinstein had been accused of sexual assault by several women. Both of these things are sure to be associated with the name Harvey for years to come, and that's a legacy you do not want to pass on to your baby. Donald. Regardless of how you feel about Donald Trump, it's usually best to avoid naming a kid after a sitting president. First of all, it's likely to invite jokes from those on the opposite end of the political spectrum. Presidential baby names also typically increase in popularity following an election, so if you do decide to name your baby Donald, he'll probably share a name with a lot of babies born in the same year. Coco Thanks to the success of the film Coco, it wouldn't be surprising if this cute name ended up at the top of many baby name lists. The name Coco has so many draws. It's simple and easy to pronounce in many languages, yet it also calls to mind the timeless elegance of Coco Chanel, making it seem like an ideal choice. But keep in mind that, like any unique name inspired by a popular movie, there's a chance that it'll lead to jokes on the playground. There's also some dark history associated with the name. There's evidence that Coco Chanel did some intelligence gathering for the Nazis during World War II. Megan. Megan with an H is not quite as popular as its more common spelling, but it may start gaining some serious ground. Given the popularity of Meghan Markle and the excitement surrounding the announcement of her engagement to Prince Harry, the name is likely to be even more popular for 2018 babies. The name Diana experienced a boom after Princess Diana married Prince Charles, and the name Meghan is poised to do the same. If you give your daughter this name, be prepared for her to share it with at least one or two other kids in her class at school. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.